So question nine is based upon the provided information here. We're told that we have this function f of t. The question says the function f models the length f of t in micrometers of a yeast cell of a certain strain t minutes after completing cell division um, for t being between zero and 30 minutes. Question nine says, what is the best interpretation of the number 0 0.025 in the context of this model? So I'm going to just point this out to you. This shows up quite often on the SAT. So f of t equals 0 0.025t plus 10.3. Let's just, 10.30, same thing. Let's just notice the structure of this. This structure is the same as y equals mx plus b where M is the 0 0.025 and B is the 10.3. The question is asking for the interpretation of the 0 0.025, which means it's basically asking for what is a slope? What does the slope mean under these circumstances regarding the length of the yeast cell? So choice A says a predicted length in micrometers of a yeast cell before cell division starts. Not at all. Slope has nothing to do with a starting point. Slope is like a changing amount. It's your constant amount of change in the line. So A is not correct. Choice B, the predicted length in micrometers of a yeast cell each minute after completing cell division. The predicted length, that's kind of weird. It's almost there, right? The whole each minute part is part of slope, right? Because if you remember, slope is just rise over run. So for us, this would be change in length. This Triangle means change, so change in length over the, our run here would be minutes. So like each minute, how much does it change in length? But this is saying the predicted length, which is a very stagnant thing, so that's not correct. Choice C, the increase in the predicted length in micrometers of a yeast cell every 10.3 minutes after completing cell division. Nope. The 10.3, that's, that's, uh, that's the y-intercept, so that's not a part of this. Choice D, the increase in the predicted length in micrometers of a yeast cell each minute after completing cell division. Absolutely correct. Each minute, that's our run, there's going to be an increase in the length. That increase in length will be 0 0.025. So choice D is the best answer here.